I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Bismarck. Wait, let me get my phone. Let me turn it off. My name is Stanley Crump. Uh, my students call me Sensei Stan. My mom calls me Stanley Eugene Crump II. And uh, this is what I do for a living. We are the Okinawan Karate Dojo, and we have two locations in Ellicott City, Maryland, and in Catonsville, Maryland. Karate, if I said it correctly, would be karate, uh, and it's two different words. Kara means empty, te means hands. Uh, it came from Okinawa, Japan, uh, and when done correctly and when done uh, traditionally, uh, students are taught how not to fight. Uh, how to be peaceful, how to be forgiving, how to be respectful, how to be balanced, how to be graceful. Uh, the training is about how do you protect yourself in a very uh, fight-ending kind of way. Uh, so uh, our style in particular, Wei Chi Du, is a very up-close, in-style fighting, which means we prefer to be close to our attackers, because that's more like a uh, real-life street situation versus the pretty spinning kicks and the floating um, um, things that you might see in other styles. We are a traditional dojo, which means that as the uh, overarching sensei owner, I can trace my roots um, directly back to the person who created karate in a very definitive way, number one. Number two, it's traditional in that I go back to the source. I go back to Okinawa on a regular basis to, to get all of the secrets and all the Wu-Tang Clan uh, ways of doing things and I bring them back and try to teach them and spread them to my staff and instructors and students unfiltered. My name is Ralph Wilkie. I am a third degree black belt and I am a sensei here at the Okinawa Karate Dojo. Um, so I encountered karate I guess my senior year of college and after my first class I knew that I was going to do martial arts for like the rest of my life. I, I, met, I met sensei Rob when he was student Rob uh, he came to me from the University of Maryland and he was a, uh, a yellow belt, interestingly enough, because he had started studying in a karate club at the University of Maryland and um, he was not the superhero he is now. To have somebody like him is, um, is game changing. I was born in D.C. Uh, my parents lived in Baltimore. Uh, the first year that I was born, but um, you know, my dad was Air Force, so we ended up moving around a lot. I spent a good amount of my childhood in Okinawa, Japan, actually. At the time I was living in Okinawa, I had no idea that Okinawa was the birthplace of karate. So, you know, fast forward, you know, almost like 15 years later, and I'm doing Okinawa karate. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Let's take a look at the, uh, the Dragon's class, which is like beginners, three to five year olds. Three to five year olds, a little challenging to teach them the karate moves, you know, making sure they can follow the directions, things like that. So the Dragon class is definitely focused on, you know, of course, teaching them some of the basic karate moves, but a lot uh, more on like, focus, more on fitness, coordination, things like that. Things that are kind of help them build up into uh, when they transfer into the Tiger Club class. I think what we're providing here at the Okinawa Karate Dojo is a really, truly unique experience. I don't really know too many dojos in the United States that really have a connection to their sensei overseas that continue to go over there and train with their sensei um, on a regular basis and sending students like me over to train with them on a regular basis too. And then bringing the true authentic experience from Okinawa here. And you know, it's difficult because I think we battle with a lot of cultural differences, but I think it helps to improve karate overall and showing that like, oh, how can we keep the same level of standard that you do Okinawa, but then be able to teach it in a different setting to a different group of students and they have different challenges than you would if you lived in Okinawa. You know, I say that we want to impact communities at large, one student at a time. Um, it's legacy. Right? The things that I say, the way I model myself, what I do hopefully becomes legacy, a baton that gets passed on and, and, and changes communities.